Hi, we're Jeremy and Audrey Roloff, and as leaders in the Christian community, we're always looking for tools and resources to help grow our marriage and support, help, and grow the marriages around us. And one thing we've noticed is a lot of marriage tools tend to be overcomplicated, trying too hard, or simply untried and untested. That's why we're really excited to share with you guys the Marriage Journal. If you're watching this, you're likely a leader or have influence to some capacity in a small group, in church, in your community. Mm -hmm. And we hear from married couples all the time like that that are introducing this marriage journal to every single person they know that gets married, that carry them in the trunks of their car and give them out to married couples and people that are 30 years married that are reaping the benefits of this marriage journal. And so we wanna invite you to be that person that introduces this resource to your community to help us get this journal in the hands of every single married couple um, so that it can continue to be a communication tool in people's marriages for years to come. Jared and I often refer to the marriage journal as our good time to talk about it. Yeah. It's that time during the week where we can circle back on conversations we maybe started but never finished. And every entry, every week of the marriage journal starts with a encouragement for your marriage. Then it goes into a little calendar section where you can get on the same page about stuff coming up during the week, whether it's date night or planning get togethers with friends. And then it goes into the crux of the journal, which is the six weekly questions that will help you to communicate um, and resolve certain issues, but also dream together for your future. Yes, ultimately this tool helps create a healthy rhythm of communication for your marriage. A rhythm of coming together once a week, exploring each other's heart and simply communicating. I just feel like it has been such an impactful thing for our marriage for years, not just like we did it for a couple weeks and we stopped. It continues to be an impactful thing even now into our marriage, especially since having children. And we have seen the impact that it's had on other marriages around the world at all different stages in their marriage, whether they're newlyweds, with young kids, or even some yeah. people that are our parents' age that do this marriage journal as a communication tool. So it can impact you wherever you're at, whatever stage you're at in your relationship. Um, it has been something that has literally transformed marriages, has saved marriages, and has helped to just invest in the future of marriages around the world. Another benefit of the marriage journal is it's really the idea of being intentional about your time of communication. Uh, you know, we, a lot of couples are like, we communicate great, we communicate great, and like, yeah, we like to think we communicate great as well, but mm -hmm. that being said, weeks in the, in the hustle and bustle of life, weeks can sometimes go by where, you know, you just don't communicate. Intentional conversation. The Marriage Journal puts the heels in the sand of life and says, nope, stop. Our marriage is really important, so mm -hmm. important, we're going to intentionally set aside 30 minutes a week yeah. to communicate and do this, this journal. So it's really just, it's a statement of commitment. It's an intentional time to communicate. And that's been part of the power of the marriage journal. And we really believe that this journal can be a resource for you as you are equipping married couples in your community to grow in their marriage, to stay connected, to stay in love, yeah. to ultimately impact their marriages for years to come.